Hi everyone, welcome to week nine of Nutrition Bites. So today we are going to be focusing more on a cooking topic. So we're gonna talk about cooking with beans. So first we'll talk about the importance of eating beans, why they're so great. Uh, we'll talk about different types of beans. Uh, then I'll share some cooking tips, as well as my favorite ways to eat beans. Uh, we'll talk a, bit, a little bit about having beans for breakfast, and then I'll present the weekly challenge. All right, so why eat beans? Beans are some of the most healthiest uh, options for food. Uh, quick side note, when I was a student doing my master's in nutrition, I always asked my mentors or supervisors if you could recommend one food that everybody eat more of for optimal health, what would you say that is? And 99% of the time they said beans. So there's just so many reasons to include beans. They are a great source of complex carbohydrates. Um, they have a lot of fiber. They also are a good source of plant protein as well as vitamins and minerals such as folate and potassium. So all of these uh, qualities can help to reduce risk factors for chronic diseases like diabetes, heart disease, etc. So what does one cup of canned black beans provide? Just to kind of give you an idea of the nutritional value. So there's 220 calories in one cup. There's also no fat, uh, 14 grams of protein, 42 grams of carbohydrates, 20 grams of fiber, which is more than most people eat in a day. There's no cholesterol. It's very low in sodium, only 170 milligrams. It has some iron and some calcium. So it's a great food to incorporate into your daily diet. All right, so different types of beans and legumes. There's lots of options. If there's one that you don't like, don't worry, there's tons of other options. Uh, so there's black beans, black eyed peas, cannelli beans, which are like um, white kidney beans, uh, chickpeas, great northern beans, green peas, kidney beans, lentils, lima beans, navy beans, pinto beans, and soy beans. So lots of different options. All right, so here are a few cooking tips. Now, a lot of people seem to have trouble digesting beans, right? They get a lot of gassiness or bloating. And so these are some cooking tips to help reduce that. So the first rule of thumb is to cook them low and slow. So this means letting them simmer on a very low heat for a long time. Rather than cooking them at a high heat for a short amount of time, cook them at a low heat for a long amount of time. Alternatively, you can also use a crock pot to do this, um, but if you are short on time, I do recommend using an instant pot to speed up the process. Um, so a few other tips to reduce gas and bloating if, the, if you experience these symptoms when you eat beans. Uh, soak the beans, if you're cooking your own beans, soak them a few times before cooking and discard the water each time. So rinse the beans and then soak them come back an hour later, rinse them again, re-soak them with clean water, and do that a couple of times. Um, if you're using canned beans, you can also rinse the canned beans very well and then simmer them in clean water for about 10 minutes. Um, back to cooking your own beans, you can add one to two teaspoons of baking soda to the soaking water, so when you're soaking the beans, and or during cooking. So you can add it before cooking and during cooking. Additionally, you could try adding one tablespoon of vinegar just as the beans are finishing cooking. Don't add it too much sooner than about five minutes before they're done cooking. Um, and lastly, you could add kombu seaweed during cooking, and this um, people have recommended as a way to reduce gas and bloating. Okay, here are my favorite ways to eat beans. I have a recipe that I'll be sharing. So I'm going to share all of these recipes, but one of my favorites is a recipe for crock pot refried beans. So there's no frying. Um, it's simply just making the beans in a crock pot and using a hand blender to mash some of them up. They're absolutely delicious. Um, I also like eating beans in cold salads. So one of my favorite is like a black bean corn salad that's pictured here, or you might have heard it called, uh, called cowboy caviar, uh, things like that, but a super quick and easy way to eat beans. Um, and then lastly, you can incorporate them into Buddha bowls. So I'll be sharing a recipe from the minimalist baker on a black bean Buddha bowl recipe. All right, so another way to add more beans into your life is to try eating beans for breakfast. 
which sounds a little crazy at first, right? Um, but there's lots of fun ways to do this. You could try a sheet pan breakfast, kind of like that's pictured here, um, and include beans. You could do breakfast quesadillas with beans. You could do avocado toast with some beans. Um, you could do huevos rancheros, tostadas, or breakfast tacos or burritos, breakfast enchiladas, um, or you could do beans on toast. Um, our very own Dr. Dysinger has a recipe that he uses frequently for beans for breakfast. So I will also include that recipe in our article version of this video. So lots of options to try eating more beans, especially for breakfast. All right, so the weekly challenge this week, I want you to incorporate beans into some of your meals uh, at least three times this week. Again, there's so many health benefits to eating beans. They are um, packed with nutrition. So if you can incorporate beans three times into your week, that would be great. If you already do that, awesome. See if there is a new way that you can try a new uh, recipe or a different way to incorporate it into your diet. And that is all for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next week.